Michael with StreamingChurch.tv with this week's Did You Know? I want to spend a few minutes with you talking about your embed code. Almost all of you have been there initially uh, so that you can add the streaming platform to your website. Uh, you can just copy the code here and very easy. This is not really a how-to. Uh, this is more of a, uh, there's also more here. <laughs> So the embed um, will stay in your website and you can change the look of that on designs. You don't uh, need to uh, do anything else with it. But you can also, if you decide you don't want to do an embed, you can choose the link and just link to the streaming platform. Or you can also create a pop-up of your streaming platform. People that use multiple screens, they can use a pop-up and have it over to the side or whatever they may do. Uh, that's another option. This is also another option, the link and the pop-up. It's your if you're having a lot of issues with people with cookie issues based on browsers uh, that are having trouble. Um, th these two are good option for that, but I'm also going to move down here and this is where you can embed countdown timers. Now, these are great ideas to put on your homepage or in your header or in your footer on your website so that people can always see them and it's an indication of, hey, uh, you may have a link somewhere on the page but it's also a very clear indication of when your next service starts. Really helps people realize that you have a live service available from your website. And there are three of those countdown timers here. And you can choose whichever one you want. And then down below that is the different media vault views. If you're on premium or platinum, you have a media vault, which is your archive services or sermons. And you have three different looks that you can embed on your website. And uh, they look like these three. Uh, the list view is the bottom one, just a very simple list. Uh, this is the, the slider view, which has one, um, a larger, image above and then the smaller ones you can slide through down below that or then the tabular view here the code for each one is out beside it all you need to do is copy the code and then take it and put it into your website where you would like it to be uh, we're going to talk about some of the buttons and things, how to entice people to your streaming page a little bit better and a little bit clearer on our upcoming webinar. Uh, that webinar will be in about a week now. Uh, actually, not about, exactly a week from today, we will have the webinar that is four easy steps to leverage your live stream for ministry growth. We want to help you capitalize on, on the assets that you already have and help you enhance those to get more traffic to your streaming page, as well as then some steps to engage people to take the next step in connecting with your ministry. It's going to be a great webinar. You can sign up at webinar.streamingchurch.tv. That's webinar.streamingchurch.tv. This has been Mike for streamingchurch.tv and your weekly Did You Know. Have a great day.